Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tabitha and today I'm going to show you how I turn this lace, beautiful beaded fabric into a bikini. Let's dive right in. First, I cut out the lining and outside fabric for both the top and the bottom. I used a bikini pattern that I had in the size medium to create the bikini top and the bottom. The end result of the bikini was a size small. However, since this beautiful lace intricate fabric, which is not typically used for swimwear, is not a four-way stretch fabric, which swimwear calls for, I needed to size up to compensate for that. I then used my sewing machine to sew the outer fabric and the lining of the bikini top. I added the neck straps and turned the bikini top to the right side. After adding both the neck straps and the underbust strap, which I sewed off camera, the top was complete. If you would like a video on how to sew swim wear straps, let me know in the comments below and I will create one for you. For the bottom, I cut out the outer fabric and the lining. Next, I took the front and back of the lining and the front and back of the outer fabric and sewed them both together at the crotch seams. So then I had two separate pieces, as you could see in the video. I have the outer fabric that's sewn together at the crotch seam and the lining fabric that's sewn together at the crotch seam. Then I matched the lining piece and the outer fabric together, right sides facing each other. The next step, I took both pieces over to my regular sewing machine and joined the outer layer and the inner fabric together by sewing along the leg holes. For my swimwear, I usually use a serger. However, I learned the hard way with this project that when you're working with beaded fabrics, your needles of your serger do not like that and they will break. So I had more success with this using my regular sewing machine. After sewing the leg holes of the bikini bottom, I flipped the bikini bottom to the right side. I then will take the bikini bottom over to my sewing machine off camera and sew the top of the front of the bikini bottom and the top of the back closed. After sewing the top of the front closed of the bikini bottom, I will fold it over, stitch across with a straight stitch to create a strap channel, and then use a loop turner to pull the strap through. I will repeat the same steps to the back of the bikini bottom as well. And here is the finished bikini. Isn't she so gorgeous and sparkly and beautiful? Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos on how I sew my swimwear or how I create other sewing pieces, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting videos weekly on how to sew. And let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you would like to see or if you have any questions about the video that you just watched. See you in the next one, guys.